Is it, this is an administration where events are controlling them. I can't remember the last time I feel like that they controlled a set of events. It feels like, and, and the, the answer is the same, whether it was VA, whether it was the health care debacle, whether it was ISIS in Iraq, whether it's it, which is, boy, this all came up on us faster than we expected. We've had our eye on this. But boy, we didn't expect it to be this bad, or we didn't expect it to be this quick, or we didn't expect it to be this substantial. So, I, look, I think the last months have painted a picture of an administration that looks like they're struggling to run the government, that they're struggling, that it, they are going from crisis to crisis. All right, folks, that's uh, quite an indictment uh, from Chuck Todd on uh, this administration, um, and, and it's it's so true. It is so true. It, you know, does it show? Is it weakness? that the president is showing? No, it's not even weakness. It's a lack of interest. It's a lack of caring. It's who's running the ship. How does this administration get surprised by everything that takes place? That's their claim. Uh, it, 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 nobody's, nobody's in charge. That's what this administration has become. No one's in charge. And you know what? For a president who goes around constantly saying, I have a pen and I have a phone, well, what he should do here if the impediment to sending these kids back, and the president claims he wants to send them back, can't send them back because of the Bush era law, which was for the benefit of, to prevent trafficking from these Central American countries of young children. So it's being misapplied here. So what the president should say is, just like he's ordered ICE not to deport this group, not to deport that group, just like he's ordered the Affordable Care Act, he's ordered uh, extensions on, on uh, uh, deadlines, just as he's uh, weakened the work provision of welfare reform unilaterally against the Constitution, in my opinion, all the president should do now is say, we're not going to enforce the law Bush signed. That was meant to protect kids who are, you know, and, and go against child trafficking. That was the spirit of that law. It's being applied now, and it's not being applied in the spirit of the law. So I'm in for, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, declaring now uh, that that law will no longer be enforced. He's done it before in a million other laws, but he won't do it because he doesn't want to send them back. He wants them to stay right here. Right here is where he wants them, and right here is where they're going to stay. I believe that, and, so, and other experts have, uh, have also weighed in uh, with a very similar opinion. Yeah, that's just, uh, just my opinion. All right, now, when we come back, you know that all week we've been doing this special, and it's going to continue through this week and into next week, I'm very happy to say. The road to the White House. Um, each day we take another prospective Republican presidential candidate, and uh, today we focus on Senator Rand Paul, who's been a frequent guest on this show, I'm very happy to say. And we're going to talk to uh, Larry Sabato uh, about the chances that Rand Paul might have, uh, what some impediments might be to uh, his candidacy, where he stands in some of the various polls that have come out. And of course, Rand Paul um, generating a lot of excitement. He is not announced, uh, but I do have a feeling that uh, he will uh, announce. I'm, I'm pretty, uh, I'm more sure of him than some of the others we've discussed, uh, such as Mike Huckabee. So we're coming back with that. Don't go away. The Road to the White House is next, right here on the Steve Malzberg Show on Newsmax Television. Uh, but first... Uh Hello, I'm back this week with this very important question. Is your doctor taking your blood pressure correctly? You may assume so, but a new study shows you may be wrong. According to this new research, doctors often cut corners when taking blood pressure and record readings that may be much too high. This is important information. First, if your blood pressure reading is wrong, you could be misdiagnosed with high blood pressure and put on powerful drugs for the rest of your life. You could also be denied health insurance and your job may even be put in jeopardy. This is important information, so pay close attention. Number one, is your doctor using the right size blood pressure cuff? Cuffs come in two different sizes average and large, but too often only the average size cuff is even used, even on the person with a larger forearm. If the cuff is too tight, the reading will be too high. Number two, is your blood pressure taken in both of your arms? Doctors are taught that this is not mandatory, but it should be. Even a small difference between the two pressure readings can mean you are at great risk of suffering from a stroke 
or even dying of heart disease. And number three, is your blood pressure taken when you are seated on the examining table with your legs dangling in the air? If so, your reading may be 10 points too high. You should be seated in the chair with your feet on the floor and your legs apart and relaxed. Don't cross your legs at either the knees or the ankles. Remember, if your doctor doesn't take your blood pressure the correct way, you could be putting your health at risk. Many of you already have my book, The Simple Heart Cure. So if you do, you can read all about high blood pressure in chapter eight. That's my health tip for this week. I'll see you next week with another important Heart Health Minute. Get your copy of Dr. Crandall's best-selling book, The Simple Heart Cure, for just $4.95 with this special offer. Go to www.simpleheartbook.com to get your copy today. That's simpleheartbook.com.